Hello everyone, this is Jay Dobbins of the official Marvel DC Multiverse. We are now episode 461, and I'll be discussing one topic, which is... Doubting the MCU will rise to former glories. So, um, I'm going to be honest with you, you know, as far as the MCU rising to former glories, I seriously doubt that. Because, you know, since Endgame, you know, it hasn't been the same. You know, like, uh, for example, you know, uh, Captain America's gone. Scarlet Witch is gone. Uh, sorry, not Scarlet Witch. Um, Black Widow's gone. Thor is about to be. Hawkeye ret- retired. However, um, he I think he'll be back for Secret Wars. And possibly Season 2 of Hawkeye. Um... Let's see, what else? Uh, I would have to say, um, who else? Uh, don't think the Hulk is going to turn back into its normal, you know, he's Professor Hulk now, so. But um, as far as him being the Incredible Hulk, I don't think he's going to turn back into that because he was a lot stronger than he is, than he was, you know, he was a lot stronger then than he is now, you know, so. Um, let's see, who else? They're talking about killing off Thor. Uh, who, they, they also killed off T'Challa. So, however, the only way he can come, the only way the character can come back is re, if, if one, they recast. However, he's going to have to be from a different universe. So they could pretty much save themselves. It's, they, they, they could still save that franchise. Still. Um, let's see. Marvel fans are pissed off about the female Silver Surfer. See, C- female Silver Surfer. But however, um, the in, however it's still part of the the film is, sorry, the Fantastic Four, which will be coming out next year, is part of the MCU, but it's not. It doesn't take place in Earth six one six. It takes place in a different universe. So, however. So somehow they're going to be able, to, they're going to find themselves in Earth six one six at some point. Might be because of the incursion, or they might be transported by the Watcher. We don't know. So we're still figuring that out. But however, you know, it's going to be that Silver Server from that universe. So they pretty much screw themselves on that movie. So we don't know if that movie's going to make a billion. But it's kind of hard to tell now because of that. Now. What they can do is they can do Silver Surfer, the feet, the male Silver Surfer, which is the main one, Norn Rat, which is the which is the well known Silver Surfer. If they put him in a post credit scene or an end credit scene, they could pretty much save the, that part of the franchise. So, but but for those who are you know pissed off that uh, you know Julia Gardner is going to be playing the female Silver Surfer. Or the fact that the silver the female silver server is going to be in the movie, I'm with you guys. However, let's not jump to conclusions, you know, because there's no guarantee. Which, well, I'm not going to say there's no guarantee, but hopefully, you know, the female silver server is not going to be the main silver surfer of the MCU. Hopefully, it hopefully that one will be will be just a variant, and they'll focus on Norn Rad. Which he's the Silver Server, the main Silver Server. Obviously, the female Silver Server doesn't come in until like later on. But artists, you know, comic book artists wanted to try something different, you know. Which obviously, I don't think those comic books are going to sell. But um, obviously, Galactus is still going to be part of the MCU in the Earth Six One Six, so he might be a variant as well. And the same person, sorry, the same character who's going to be voicing Galactus, which I can't remember his name, but he's a British actor. He's going to be, um, he's going to be, uh, I guess, the main Galactus from Earth 616 along with other universes. So, I guess in this universe, which, you know, the Fantastic Four is going to, obviously, in the, I guess in the, this universe, I guess, Galactus is going to choose Shauna Bell 
and Silver Surfer is still in Norn Rad. However, I'm guessing that Silver Surfer and Galactus are still going to exist in Earth 616. But I guess Reed Richards and you know Johnny Storm, Ben Grimm, Susan Storm. I'm guessing they all don't exist in Earth 616 yet. Well, obviously they don't exist in that universe. But I'm guessing they will exist in the universe if there's either an incursion or they get transported there to Earth 616. So only time will tell on that one. Um, let's see. You got delays of the Blade movie. Um, let's see. They're focusing, you know, they, they, you know, I guess Kevin Feige wanted to focus up more on female characters. So instead of the MCU, they call it the MCU. So obviously that's going to be a problem. Obviously fans don't want that, you know. It's bad enough, it's bad enough Marvel Studios don't focus on the source material anyway. But now you want to focus on female lean characters? I mean, obviously these, Marvel Studios has an agenda you know, and they're putting politics into the film. Which, you know, the political agenda is not going to work. You know, it's not what they want, and it's, you're not going to make money like that. So, let's see. Um, we're still waiting on the X-Men film. So, people still waiting on that. Um, and then you have Spider-Man. We're just going to focus more on street level characters. However, we're still, you know, the fans still want um, Tom Hardy Spider-Man taking on Tom Holland, sorry, Tom Holland Spider-Man taking on Tom Hardy's Venom, and then both of them taking on Woody Harrelson's Carnage. So either they're going to do a maximum, either they're going to do a maximum Carnage movie, or they're going to introduce an all the symbiote god, and, um... I guess it'll be three against three. No, the symbiote guy with Scream and Carnage versus Spider-Man and Venom. Along with other symbiotes as well. So they might take a play from the Separation Anxiety video game. You know, I mean, that's if anybody plays the game. But, all you, I mean, you, you can pretty much watch the video game or the playthrough on YouTube to get an idea, you know. So there's to be yeah we're still looking we're still waiting for Venom, Spider-Man Venom versus Carnage you know Tom Hardy and Tom Holland versus Woody Harrelson, or it could be you know like I said you get Maximum Carnage or No the Simi guy they're gonna have to introduce No the Simi guy in the MCU at some point. That's a perfect excuse so he might exist from a different universe, and Tom Hardy might be transported into the Venomverse or. They might get transported to Earth 616. And I guess Noel the symbiote guy would be transported in that universe as well, along with Carnage being, you know, transported from another universe, along with Scream and uh Shriek. So I'm saying that that's the probably the only thing that's gonna keep, you know, I don't think that's gonna save the MCU, but you know, it could keep the lights on pretty much. So but, um, like I said, only time will tell, but as far as it being back to its former glories, I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon or ever, you know, nothing lasts forever. And I don't know if they can stretch out this MCU thing for, you know, for very long. So then you got the Eternals, you know, like I said, no, no political agenda, just you know, if they could just keep politics out of it, then they might be able to make some, you know, decent amount. But right now, uh, the only movie I can think of that's probably going to make a billion is likely going to be Deadpool and Wolverine. So, but, um, we will see. So, but yeah, that concludes, uh, this topic. Feel free to visit us. Sorry. Feel free to follow us on Instagram. We're available on iTunes, Google Play Music App, Spotify, and of course, YouTube. And Twitch.